all, we, we had a great time out of the day. We had a great time. Our heart was really touched by the Lord down there. Uh, gave us a, a chance to not just get a, to know a missionary, but just to get to know a brother. And uh, we just appreciate the opportunity. We started out in uh, Belize City in uh, we flew in over there, and Brother Gret stays up here in Orange Walk, and uh, we he covers this whole little area by um, foot, bike, and his van. Uh, however we can get going, that's how, how we went. Our U.S. Embassy, a uh, story here. Brother Chris and I, <laughs> we had a quite an interesting thing here. We wanted a picture of our U.S. Embassy in the worst way. And uh, no matter who we talked to, no matter who we seen, it was absolutely forbidden for us to get a picture. So luckily, on our way out, I hurried up and snapped a quick pic. These are our the th thrift stores. Uh, we don't have, or they don't have a Walmart or a Kmart or anything. So if you want clothes, you stop at the local uh, thrift shops and you you buy what you can what you can find there. They don't have the Goodyear tires on this one, but <laughs> most of them do. And uh, these are one of the Mennonites there. Uh, Brother Gret says it's kind of hard right now to to speak with them. They're still kind of standoffish. Uh, but one of the missionaries that he w he works with, um, they are sending a missionary out of their out of their church to designate only to the Mennonites. Fast food in uh, in Belize. Uh, there's no McDonald's, no Burger King, and uh, you really have to take your chance on which which uh, place you stop because most of them don't have purified drinking water. Um, so you really have to pay attention to where you stop. This would be their local Walmart that they would have, uh, the Dickerson's. It is the only stores that they have, and uh, that would they don't have clothes in there, but they have all your your bare necessities in, inside. Most of your uh, stores will be inside. Uh, that like that little area right there everybody has their own storefront they'll sell your basic necessities your tortillas your your water your sodas uh, but that that's about it and, th and those you can find all over they're, they're everywhere this is the uh, open market and th we we had a chance to talk to the, to these people right here they were selling bananas and uh, they, we really had a good chance to uh, share the gospel with them and to uh, invite them out to the gospel conference that we had. Again, uh, the open market, they have just a little bit of everything uh, in there. We followed these guys back for over, a, over an hour from uh, the state capitol. Uh, they found any way they can and that is an 18 wheeler and he is both of them are on the top of the cab um, gas in Belize is eleven dollars and eighty six cents Belizean dollars which works out to be about five dollars and ninety six cents US dollars that was my new little girlfriend that we had down there she stayed with me as close as she could and we really pray for Brother Chris to learn his bananas. Amen. And, uh, we, and that is the one he forgot all the time, guys. We had the chance, <laughs> we had the chance to drink uh, the coconut water right straight from the coconuts. Brother Gret forced, forced him into it. That is the machete right there, guys, that he cut it open with. <laughs> 
very refreshing water. It definitely has a lot of potassium in it and really rehydrates you back up in that high heat. We, we averaged about 100 to 110 every day. The famous dragon fruit. Uh, it was something new to me and Brother Chris, and we'll just say we like to leave it there in Belize. <laughs> the, just another fruit stand. They have fruit. Uh, this was probably about one of the cheapest um, things you can buy down in Belize are the natural fruits. And an authentic Belizean meal is just rice and beans and chicken. Uh, this is their breakfast. This is fried jacks, uh, ham, eggs, and beans. And this is another stewed chicken that they have up there. And a famous ice cream. Uh, right here is the avocado ice cream. And Brother Chris was brave enough to, to try it. He says it was really good. The seven different uh, ethnic, ethnic groups in there. Uh, and uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce them all. But they have the Mayan, the East Indian, Creole, Chinese, Grif Griffina, and Mestizo, and the Mennonites. And guys, this is your missionary's heart at work, as Pastor would tell you. It's tracks, says free tracks, take one, Jesus saves. We had to beg Brother, Brother Gret to take that picture. But he has a radio mission, uh, ministry there, and uh, it's nice because the, it's basically one station down there, and everybody listens to it, so he gets a chance to really put the gospel out there. This is his church, the Freedom Baptist Church. It's a small, small church. Pray for them as they, they're really wanting to add this addition on so that they can add Sunday school rooms. And they want to extend the front of the building to, to add more room to the church. It's very small on the inside. Uh, and this was one of our first nights at the, as, at the conference. And uh, this was Brother Gret introducing, introducing everybody. And as we grew every night, the, uh, it really grew in, in conference. And we ended up packing more chairs in every night we set up more chairs they're very open uh, when they're encouraged their teams are encouraged to bring somebody back they bring them back yes, uh, yes, and not just one or two they bring them in by handfuls yes. uh, he has a great team program getting ready to start uh, and I don't see her in this picture, but the young lady that really brings them in, she sat right back in this row, and uh, she, br she brought maybe about an average of eight to 10 people every night she brought with her. Can you go back one? The lady with the glasses on her back. Mm-hmm. Put that right there. That right there is Mrs. Cordova. She's the one that lost her child yeah. in that house. She's still going strong. And all her family is on that road there. That's all her family. So you continue to pray for them. Amen. Their house fell on their ten-year-old boy, and they lost him. And they're still very, very open to the to the gospel. Uh, her oldest, one of her older daughters, right here, uh, she comes over and helps uh, Brother Gret every day with with the kids. Uh, if it's her day off or whatever, she is she is over every day. And we'd just like to thank you for your time uh, over there. We had a great, great time. I really encourage, uh, we're really praying that we can take a team over next year. And so we're really praying for, praying for, take a bunch over with us.